What's the word, y'all? The Chicago Bulls are cursed. And I guess that's the price you pay when you win six in a decade, but the entirety of my life as a Bulls fan feel like it's misfortune after misfortune, important injury after important injury, I'm fed up and I'm tired. Yeah, I'm being kind of hyperbolic, but still, like, it's been pretty bad. Let's go through some of the just the point guard misfortunes as, as a Bulls fan in my lifetime. In 2002, we had the second overall pick, and we draft Jay Williams, a young, promising point guard who was really good in college. He plays his rookie season. He was subpar, but he's a, he's a rookie point guard, right? Then he gets into a motorcycle accident and completely ends his NBA career. He doesn't play NBA basketball again after that. Luckily, in 2003, we draft like the greatest point guard in Bulls history other than Derrick Rose. At least that's what it feels like, Captain Kirk Heinrich. Even today, people are, are talking about Captain Kirk because we miss just, just decent and consistent point guard play. We ain't had it. But then, of course, you get the first overall pick. We draft Derrick Rose. He becomes the youngest MVP in NBA history. He's leading the Chicago Bulls to a number one seed in the Eastern Conference, leading the Chicago Bulls to one of the best defensive teams in the years. And then you know what happens to that story. And then on a very lesser scale, because it's not a lot of people weren't looking at Chris Dunn as the point guard of the future, the, the guy that was going to save the organization. Chris Dunn has some bad injuries in his last couple seasons with the Chicago Bulls. And then lastly, we have today, Alonzo Ball. We knew it was bad. We, we made a video about it like two weeks ago. We knew it was bad. We were just waiting for, for how bad. And, and uh, it's basically the worst case scenario, if I'm being honest with you. Starts off here 25 days ago. Chicago Bulls Lonzo Ball expected to miss training camp downfall for the start of the season. And then it gets to this point. Breaking. Chicago Bulls Lonzo Ball to undergo knee surgery ahead of training camp. And then we get here. Lonzo could miss entire season. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just got to say, I feel so bad for Lonzo Ball. He's what, 24? He's 24, close to 25 years old, and he's had three different knee surgeries. Three different. And we knew, Bulls fans, we knew that signing Lonzo Ball came with his risk. Again, before he even got here, he's had some knee problems. And that's one of the reasons why the Pelicans feel confident enough to say, hey, even though you're a solid player and you're okay with us, we're okay with basically use, losing you for nothing because we don't really trust your health like that. Bulls fans knew what they were getting into. But now that we're actually into it, it's terrible, bro. It feels terrible, especially with the East around us getting so much better. It's just so much better. This is about to be a dog fight of an NBA season in the Eastern Conference. And guess what? Hypothetically, the Bulls fall off a cliff in a sense that they don't they make the play in and don't make the don't make the playoffs or whatever we ain't got that big i think it's top four protected the orlando magic are looking at this news and and though they don't want to wish injury on anybody because they have their own stuff with markel Fultz's toe and then john isaac not having a timetable which is hello it's been two seasons you know um they not wish injuries on anybody but they like hey we got wendell we got franz with your pick a couple years ago you telling me we got one more coming this year w for us but the but the bulls fans we like man like, this might not be a big story for anybody outside of Bulls Nation, but if you watch the Bulls this season when Lonzo was healthy, it was a whole different story. The defense was turned up to a 1,000. The way this team ran in transition was better than anything I've ever seen as far as a Bulls team post Derrick Rose. And it was just like poetry. And that's weird to even say because it's not like Lonzo Ball is Magic Johnson. Even, even though some people thought he might turn into Magic Johnson, he wasn't Magic Johnson. But when it came to that, that fast court break, not a lot of people better and seeing the floor on the break. Of course, like any other player, he has deficiencies. He doesn't get to the rim as much you would want a guy with his athleticism to do. He doesn't do anything other than take threes and do a step back three occasionally, but that was cool for what the Chicago Bulls needed. And now we are trying to plug in holes that we didn't really think that we were gonna have to going into the season. I guess you can say that's not completely true because we signed Goran Dragic, um, which might have been the writing on the wall for us Bulls fans. We should have looked in that a little while ago and be like, hey, we signed a Goran Dragic. We have Lonzo uh, Ball, Alice Caruso, uh, Ayo DeSumo, Kobe White, who feels forgotten about. Why are we getting another point guard? This is the reason why. And, and in the media day, they were basically saying that the point guard position is up for grabs right now between Ayo, Alice Caruso, and Goran Dragic. We don't really know. But there's, there's no great outcome from this. Bro said he was struggling to walk upstairs, man. Think about it. He was struggling to walk upstairs. When when things start to get into personal life, that's when you know it, it's a rough situation. Like, yeah, you can't run. You can't jump. That's for a normal person. That ain't that big of a deal because we ain't working out like, like we're supposed to anyway. But if you can't walk upstairs, it's a whole different monster. So, again, I'm going to stress this again, Bulls fans, if we don't want to hear it. 
this this might be a very very rough season for us i'm subverting my own personal expectations i'm gonna go to the united center as much as i can because i love the chicago bulls and i love basketball but my expectations for this bulls team is every single day it feels like it's getting lower and lower and lower i we have to hope that io desu moves like him i guess it's a possibility but like it's a low possibility just because of the circumstances and y'all about I mean, just talking about this about to make me sad because now i'm trying to think about the two-year forecast three-year forecast of the chicago bulls and it's grim it's extremely grim compared to the rest of teams around basketball it's not like the court that we have is an nba championship caliber core it's just not let's be real it's not an nba championship caliber core we've got a lot of money tied into demar Rose, a lot of money tied into vucevic who's a, a, a unrestricted free agency season we'll see how that goes a lot of money tied into Zach Levine, a lot of money into Lonzo Ball. That is the core that we have built. And even at a full strength, even though at one point we were the number one team in the Eastern Conference going into the All-Star break, everybody knew that was fool's goal. Everybody knew that this team was cool in the playoffs and fun for some highlights, but we wasn't really competing for nothing. And in that moment in time, that was cool with me. I was completely okay. Just turning on the Bulls game and not having to expect a loss was a W. It's the first time I've been able to do that in like five years. But now it's like, dang, maybe the way we built this roster ain't the ain't the greatest what what's the pivot what's the pivot because as of right now this bulls team should be pivoting now i'm not saying pivot in the system oh we got to trade this play we got to trade this play they got to trade this play no but we have to figure out the forecast what is our plan two years from now instead of being like right now we look all right so we cool with that i'm not turning on the front office because again i'm extremely grateful for having a season that wasn't terrible it seemed like some of the deals that they did were like very short-sighted and especially with the Vucevic trade I'm, I'm just being honest with you especially with the Vucevic trade maybe I don't say this if Vucevic is still the all-star caliber player that he was two years ago but still the Vucevic trade was a very short-sighted trade considering we already had Zach Levine who everybody knows is not a plus defender and Vucevic is one of the worst starting centers when it comes to his defense we were like okay not a big deal and in the moment I was excited about that trade because we just got another all-star caliber player for sure but even then if you watch that video I'm like you know we'll, we'll see how it goes so you got DeMar aging, but DeMar doesn't seem like the type that would age terribly, even though he does take and make a ton, and I mean a ton of tough jump shots, I still believe he's going to be a dude that's going to be successful in the NBA for, for the uh, majority of his contract or the end of his contract. Not saying he's going to be all NBA again, because I don't think that's going to happen, but just being a very good um, very good all-star caliber. We'll say that all-star caliber player. I feel confident about that. I feel confident that Zach Levine is going to be an all-star caliber player for the entirety of his contract. But let's be real. Zach Levine hasn't been the pinnacle of health. Now, these overall playing games, I can't be mad at 67 games. But when you think about when you watch those games, it, it feels like a few of those bro shouldn't have been out there let's be real because he was dealing with the injuries he was dealing with the thumb he was dealing with the knee who he also was coming off a of knee surgery if you don't remember he hurt himself so it's like knock on wood because i would never wish this on any player or especially not a player in my organization if, if zach misses time this season I, like it what do we do and then we look at the game log of the last month or so of the NBA season. Obviously, it was extremely rough for the Chicago Bulls. They won six games in these last couple. I'm going to count seven. Zach Levine has played this one seven in the last 20 or so. Um, th this is basically what our roster is going to look like. There's no Lonzo Ball, but this lineup is basically what we're dealing with. You know, I do believe that Patrick Williams is going to come in and have a successful season. Maybe I'm not believing in it, but I'm wishing it. You know what I'm saying? I hope I hope so. But either way, this is basically our roster. I don't look at Drummond and look at Goran Dragic as being these saviors of anything because that's just not what they were signed for. You know how it can be. You know how it can be. Still, again, I don't want anything to be taken out of context, even though I already know there's going to be the 7% of people that is misinterpreted what I'm saying. I'm still excited for Bulls basketball. I will never turn my back on my organization, but I'm also being a realist when I'm talking about NBA teams. I'm not going to give you some extreme bias. Actually, I, I, there's this thing called um, um, reverse bias, which is still just bias. But like maybe because it is my team, I'm being ultra hard on them instead of being completely lovey-dovey about everything. You know what I'm saying? Like normal bias is like, man, my best player is the best player in the league. That's normal bias. My team about to dominate this, this the league this year. That's normal bias. But reverse bias is like, my team is terrible, bro. We the worst team in basketball. It's like reverse bias. It's like... So again subverting your expectations so if anything does go bad you can't feel any pain that's what we doing that's what we doing not to mention last year the bulls didn't win a single game against a good team uh, i'm just being real uh, a top team now we won games against good teams a top team it had become a storyline in basketball ladies and gentlemen anytime they lost a game to a top team my mentions was flooded demar the the frozen and fraud chicago frauds and let's not do that this year 
because the expect there's no expectations. So anything we do that's a plus, thank you. Don't don't come on mental this up. All right, Lonzo Ball, uh, get well soon. We 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 hoping and praying for a speedy recovery for you, and hopefully the other guys hold it down while you out.